Hello everybody, my name is Ethan and today I'm going to show you how to get onto the parent and the student portal. So if you look here, this is kind of what the old website used to look like back last year. But when you click on it and it loads, it's completely new. So now you're probably wondering, well, I'm not used to this. How do I get to the portal? Well, over up here it says eSchool Data Portals, or data, I call it data. All right, and it'll show you the staff login, that's for the teachers, the parent login, which is for the parents, and student login is for students. So if you're a student, you can click here and just enter your, um, you probably use your user ID. I'm just gonna make a fake one here. And, and I think you eventually they'll give you a password that you're gonna use, but then, but then eventually you're able to change it and use your own personalized password that you'd like to use. And for the parent, for the parent login, it's just pretty much the same thing. And, so, and the parents are able to use this to be able to check their students' grades at any time. And the students, they can, instead of waiting to get their tests back, which can sometimes take a few days, they can just go onto the portal. It'll be so easy for them to see their grades and their averages. It's much easier than having to just get all of your tests back and add it up and do all the math. You'd probably get extra credit in math, but I'd of course prefer to use the portal. And it's really useful. And it's still, and don't worry, the portal is pretty much the same on the inside and as it was last year. And it's not going to be too, tr too much trouble. It may seem hard now, but eventually it'll get much easier. So that's pretty much about it.